Hi there, Save with Crypto. Okay, so as I'm making this video, we're four hours away from the competition starting, the KCGI BitGet trading competition. So I just want to talk about a few ideas about this um, and a few misconceptions maybe. Uh, the first thing is, is this isn't like a competition where it's like ready, steady, go, you start trading and then you there's a finish line uh, when it's all over. Uh, you can be in a trade right now and I believe that does count. So it will look at our kind of like profit and loss and position size, that kind of thing, trading volume uh, to decide who's the winner. Uh, my team uh, is looking okay. Uh, last time I looked, yeah, got 13 members right nine valid members now what i'm hoping is that uh there's the the tenth one is just waiting for their fifth day of trading because uh this team needs to have 10 valid members um, to be a viable team i think it's okay to start but you can join along the way and obviously you can start trading along the way as well uh, now if you look at here uh We've got these 10 people here, then I think I'm on the second page. Okay, so I've got BG user, Nick Cash and Saver Crypto uh, on the second page there. So this is the team. So the first point is you don't have to actually, you know, start the minute that the competition starts. If you see an opportunity now, go for it. Okay. Now, the other thing is, is that this is a futures competition. Okay. So it's to do with future trading. It's not to do with spot trading. So you need to be trading futures. So that means you can be doing USDTM futures where you've got USDT as your underlying asset. So that's what you're starting off with. Uh, I think you can do the same with USDC, but I've, ne I've never used that, to be honest. Uh, Coin M is my other favorite one, uh, which is where you can use one of these cryptos, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, XRP, Doge, Cardano, dot litecoin eos and tron as your base currency and that means for example if you start off with bitcoin with the bitcoin usd pair which is what i'm using in this trade here so you see here that this is bitcoin usd so i started off with a margin of 0 0.0475 bitcoin uh, i'm using 12x leverage so at the moment i'm currently 1000 and nine dollars in profit and if i was to close this trade now i would be left with bitcoin okay more bitcoin than i started with uh, but bitcoin the alternative you can do or not alternative you can do it as well um, is to do the usdt trading so you're using usdt which is tether which is a stable coin pegged to the dollar so here for example i've got another trade open here this one I started off with a margin of $6,489 and this one's currently $1,785 in profit, um, which is nice. Uh, and this one here, if I was to close this trade now, I would be left with USDT. Now, the advantage of USDT trading is you can trade lots of things. So, for example, you know, if I wanted to trade something unusual, say like Doge, USDT, you could do that, Uniswap, ICP, any of these. You know, you can trade the volatility of these against USDT. You can't do things like, you know, trade like Shiba Inu as an inverse perpetual. That just doesn't exist on most exchanges. But you can trade it as a SHIB USDT pair. So I'm going to be doing both. So at the moment, I've got this quite a large... PTC USDT trade open on the USDT perpetuals and then over on the inverse perpetuals I've got the BTC USD I just showed you I've got an Ethereum USD one as well which is currently 12% in profit uh, I've got a dot one here that's 1.61% in profit and I've got a Solana one here that's just slightly in profit now I'm trading these ones because I had them in my spot account. So what I did was I moved them to my Coin M account so that I could do some trading with them to, you know, increase the amount of wins I'm getting it during the competition. Now the disadvantage this has, if you've got about five trades open at the same time, it's really hard to keep track of everything. Um, so I'd, if you're new to it, I'd probably suggest that you just stick to one trade and you know look at going in and out at the right time and don't get confused by having lots of trades open 
Now, I just do that because I like making my life really complicated. I've never been quite sure why I do that, but I do that in every aspect of my life. I just make everything super complicated. Anyway, <laughs> now, one thing I would suggest you do is you, you use TradingView for your charting and then, you know, do your trade on BitGet. Um, I find it much easier to use like a proper charting tool like TradingView rather than trying to sort of, uh, you know, draw things like trend lines on on the actual chart you get on BitGet. And also you have the advantage of these indicators as well. Now the two that I really, really like to use are the VWAP standard deviation bands. So if you just search here for like VWAP, like that, you'll see this one here. This is the one I use, the bands version two mod update. I'll show you that in a moment. The other thing I tend to use is the whole suite as well. So if you put in here whole suite, and it's whole suite by in silico. That's the one I use. Okay, and I'll show you these two. These two I really like, and let's look at it on the five minute time frame, for example. And first of all, let's look at the VWAP standard deviation. Okay, so I've found generally that all my trades go well if, and mostly only if, I enter a trade, like I enter a long in this green section here, and I exit the trade in the red section here. Obviously, if you're shorting rather than longing, I would be entering in the red section and then exiting in the green section. Okay, and for example here, I might want to take some profit. So let's say that 71,272, I want to take some profit on my BTC trade. Let's say 71,270. So I can do that by going partial position, 71,270. And then if I want to just take like say 10% off the table, I can just do that here. Let's go for 15 and confirm. The whole suite puts in this green and red band here. And this gives you a good idea of the way the trend's going. Now, I am looking at this on the five minute time frame, which isn't always the best thing to do. Sometimes the larger time frames. But at the same time, if you're doing like small scalps, then it's useful as well. So, say for example, here, when you see that's gone green now, so you're seeing the price go up, but the price is getting quite far away from that green band there so that looks like it's going to reverse down any moment to me if you look back in the past you can see some examples of this so like here where the price had gone up there and then it came back down and when it crosses through the green band it normally sort of heads down fairly well but i find these two indicators by looking at these for a long period of time you actually do sort of get an idea of where the price is going to go now, just while I was editing that last part of the video, uh, it did indeed hit that target. So it actually made, you know, 31.1%, which is good, uh, $304. So that was great. So it wasn't as good as it could have been because it's it, it happened at this red arrow here. And then it went beyond there. Having said that, since then it's come back. So I could go long again here, but I'm not. I'm going to wait till the price is back down in that green area. And that's my kind of discipline I'm going to try and have during the competition. It's not always going to be easy, but that's what I'm going to try and do. All right, so that's the plan. So please do join the trading team if you're not already. Just go to bonus.bitget.com slash team and you'll get to my team. And uh, please do join it and uh, get trading. Don't risk everything. Just, you know, trade with $100 or something. Just get a feel for it. We've got enough time, got a few weeks and uh, we can do some good stuff. If you like the sound of that, please give the video a like and make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you've got the notifications set on all. Any questions, leave them in the comments or just leave a nice comment anyway. If you don't like the video, just click dislike twice just to make sure. But above all, tell your friends.